details on all of this. Good morning to you, Katie. So what can we... Well, Charlotte, there's been a lot of frustration here in Wales at the lack of a comprehensive roadmap, with Mark Drakeford instead saying he'll reassess the situation every... A big day also for Scotland with four people from two households able to meet from today. Uh, for teenagers, that'll be four teenagers from up to four households and there will also be relaxations on non-contact sport uh, with up to 15 people being able to take part in outdoor activities and teenagers being able to travel between council boundaries. Uh, but just remember, this is going to be also quite confusing for the United Kingdom. Arlene Foster in Northern Ireland is expected to announce some of her roadmap next week. She said it'll be all about data, not dates and really stuck to that and it could mean that there are real discrepancies because if Mark Drakeford does announce for example uh, travel from the 5th of April in England uh, you can't travel until the 12th of April so here in Conwy for example they will have a tourism town open uh, but potentially no tourists until a later date but it will be good news for those who've really missed their local shops and of course their local hairdressers as well. Yeah starting to get back to a bit more normality. Katie thanks very much for that. Yes, confirmed in the last hour, residents here will be the first to get a trim with hairdressers opening their books from Monday. Disappointment though for non-essential retailers who thought they would have the same date and instead will have to wait until the 12th of April. There are also going to be relaxation on the rules of meeting outside from uh, tomorrow. Four people from two households can meet. The same rule coming in in Scotland today. But no word yet on when tourists will be able to come back to beautiful towns like Conwy, where I am this morning. And if Mark Drakeford does relax um, the restrictions here earlier than in England, it could be quite confusing about what you can and can't do when it comes to travel across the UK.